Divi is one of, if not the most popular WordPress theme and visual page builder on the market. What I love about building WordPress sites with Divi is the thousands of professional templates, hundreds of website elements, and how you have complete control over your designs by using their intuitive, easy to use, and responsive visual page builder. You can create essentially anything you can think of without touching any code or any of the technical stuff. So today, my focus is to help you set up, get familiar, and using Divi's key features that you can feel confident in building and designing your website pages using Divi's powerful builder. Okay, so just quickly before we go ahead and launch into Divi and WordPress, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that having out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into my ultimate Divi theme tutorial for beginners. First things first, you need a WordPress website. As you can see, I'm currently using Hostinger, which allowed me to purchase a domain, hosting, and create a WordPress website in just a few minutes. If you currently do not have a WordPress website up and running online, then what I'll do is I'll link Hostinger down below in the description for you to create an account, purchase or connect a domain name, launch hosting, and a WordPress website, which you can do in just a few minutes. Okay, so as you can see, I'm inside a fresh WordPress account. Now, once you've arrived inside WordPress, simply navigate up to Appearances and then Locate Themes. And that's gonna take you to your WordPress themes. At the moment, you can see I've got 2024 activated. But what we wanna do is we want to purchase, then download and upload the Divi theme into our WordPress account. To do that, simply head over to your browser and type in elegantthemes.com or click on my Divi theme link down below in the description and that's gonna take you here. Then simply navigate up to unlock the power of Divi. Then go ahead and click on join today. You have two options to either purchase a yearly license or a lifetime license. This is completely up to you. You can also try Divi risk-free for 30 days. If you don't like Divi as a WordPress theme, then you can always get a refund within the first 30 days. So go ahead and purchase Divi and then we'll meet you inside your Elegant Themes account. And once you've arrived inside your Elegant Themes account, go ahead and select Themes and Plugins, then come down and locate Divi Theme, and then click on Download the Divi Theme. Then once you've successfully downloaded the Divi Theme, simply head back over to WordPress. And back inside Themes, what we're gonna do is click on Add New Theme, then locate Upload Theme. Go ahead and choose the Divi Theme zip file that we just downloaded. You can see it here, divi.zip, then click on Open, and hit Install Now. Congratulations, the theme has been installed successfully. Then come down and click on Activate. And just like that, we've activated the Divi theme. Now let's navigate over to the front end of our website. And this is what our WordPress website looks like before we've made any customizations using the Divi theme and Divi page builder. Now let's go ahead and create our first page with Divi. Navigate up to New, and then come down and click on Page. We're not gonna use WordPress's block editor, we're gonna use the Divi theme. Navigate over to Add Title, and this is going to be our home page. Then click on Use Divi Builder. Come down and click on Start Building. Then here we have three options for building our WordPress website pages. The first option allows us to build a WordPress page from scratch using the Divi page builder or we have the option to create a website page using a professional pre-made layout that you have access to. And you have access to hundreds of pre-made templates, full pack website templates, as well as section templates. And you also have the option to clone an existing page that you've created with Divi. Now, the best place to start as a beginner is to use a pre-made template and then to customize that template using the Divi page builder the way that you like. Simply come down and click on Browse Layouts. Then go ahead and select a category. I'm gonna select Business. Then simply navigate through the premium templates within the category that you selected and choose one that you like the look of. You can also click on that template. Then simply navigate through each page over on the left-hand side to make sure you like the look of that professional template. I like the look of this, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click on the home page, and then select use this layout. Go ahead and use your Divi username and API key if you haven't added this information already. You can find this over on the Elegant Themes website. 
Then once you've added those details, go ahead and click on submit. And just like that, we've added the home template page to our website. Now what we can do is customize this page the way that we like. Now to understand the visual page builder and how it works, we first need to understand the structure of the Divi page builder. First, we have the page section, this blue box here, and your page is made up of these sections. Then within each section, you have rows, and you can create as many rows as you like within each of your sections. For example, if I click on change row structure, you can see that this is a single row. However, I can add two rows, three rows, four, and more down here, as well as these custom rows. I'm going to close this. And then within each of your rows, you have these modules. And these are essentially elements that you can add inside your rows. And there are many types of modules or elements that you can add inside your rows. For example, if we navigate down here to this plus icon, we can search for the specific module that we want to add to this row. Let's have a look at some popular ones down here. We can add a blurb or a button if we like, similar to the button down here. If we navigate down further, we can add a contact form a divider if we like between modules. We can also add a gallery, a heading similar to this heading here. We can add images, maps, as well as a pricing table and more down here. Okay, so let's close this. The great thing about the Divi Themes pre-made templates is you have access to all of these professionally built templates that you can then customize the way that you like. You can simply change the content and add your own content to the different sections, rows, and modules. Simply replace the content on these templates. As you can see, the templates are already responsive across devices. Let's preview what this template looks like on mobile. As you can see, the template is incredibly responsive. Okay, so let's navigate back down to desktop and then navigate up to the top. Simply hover over each of the modules and click on settings to make your own changes. I'm going to come down here and change this content and you have access to all of these formatting options up here. I'm going to come down and click on the green tick. And once you've made any changes, simply come down and click on save draft. This is if your website page is currently not published online. However, if you want to publish those changes that you've just made live on your website, then simply click publish. Because this is just a draft page, I clicked save draft. Okay, so I'm going to navigate up to this module and then click on this gear icon. And again, I'm going to navigate down to this text box and change this content. Then I'm going to add an underline for this word. Now with each of these editing boxes, you can drag them around the screen. You can also come down and make the box bigger if you like. And this is all based on personal preference. Now, once you've made changes to the content, simply navigate over to design. And here you have all these different design options. For example, I'm going to navigate down to heading text. This is an H1 heading text. I can change the heading font, the heading font weight. I'm going to click here and then come down to semi bold. I can also change the heading font style, the heading text alignment and the heading color if I like. If we navigate down here, we can change the heading size based on the device. For example, if I click on tablet, the heading size is 40. If I click on desktop, the heading size is 72. And if I click on mobile, the heading size is 24. I'm not going to make any changes here. I'm happy with the default setup of this template. Okay, so I'm gonna navigate back over to desktop and then navigate up the page and minimize this option. Then you also have other options down here that you can play around with. If we click on advance, we can come down and click on visibility and we can disable specific modules across different devices. Also, if you're more experienced, you can play around with custom CSS. Okay, so I'm gonna come down and click on tick and then navigate down to the next module, which is this button module. Simply click on the gear icon, and here we can make changes to the button text. I'm happy with the button text. We can also come down to link, and we can add a link to an internal page on our website. For example, once I've created a consultation page, what I would do is link this button to our consultation page on our website. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the screen tick, and then navigate down the page. Now, if I like, I can also make changes to this section. If I click on background, you can see this is the background color. So I can change the background color of this section if I like. I can also add a background gradient, a background image, or a background video. However, again, like I mentioned, I'm happy with this template background. Let's go ahead and close this. Next, we have this module here. Now, if I click on the gear icon, what I can also do is leverage AI to generate content on my website. For example, let's go ahead and click on generate content with AI. Then I have the option to come down and improve with AI. 
For example, I can make my content better, I can rephrase, I can come down to paraphrase, I can shorten, fix spelling and grammar, I can rewrite for, and I can also change the tone or make it more, and these options over here. So this is if you've already gone ahead and you've created content down here, you can use AI to help you improve your content. If you want to learn more about Divi AI, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description, which will dive deeper into leveraging Divi's AI. So what I'm going to do is quickly just change this and this text down here. I'm happy with that. Now down here, you can see we have another module. This is a video module. What we can do is simply replace this video if we like. Simply upload your video here or navigate over to insert from URL and you can add the URL from YouTube or a different platform. I'm going to go ahead and close this for now and navigate down the page. Let's close this. Here you can see we have a row. If I click on this row here, there are four rows. I can go ahead and change this just to three. And as you can see, I now have three rows. I'm going to come down and delete this module. So essentially what you want to do is navigate through each of the different sections make changes to each of the sections as well as the rows and the modules within each row. It's incredibly easy to make those changes. Again, once you've made any changes, come down and click on save draft or publish. Now you can also navigate down here and click on this plus icon and you can quickly go ahead and replace this layout with a different template layout. This is if you decided you didn't like the look of the template page layout that you chose. You can also choose from saved layouts and your existing pages. For example, if we close out of this and come down and click here, you can add this page to your library. Maybe you change the entire style of this template and you want to save it as your own. You can go ahead and do that now. That way you can access this template and create your future pages faster. I'm going to close this for now. And you can also do the same with sections. If you like a section, you can go ahead and click on save and you can save the section as well as the row. And then if we close this, you can do the same with modules. Just add the module name and then save to library. And that's how you can quickly create your pages, your sections, rows and modules. Okay, so what we're going to do is navigate up to new and add one more page. And this is going to be the about page. Come down, click on use Divi Builder. And again, we have these three options. We can clone an existing page, choose a pre-made layout, or we can build from scratch. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and click on browse layouts. I'm going to select business again, and then navigate down. And this is the template package we used earlier. I'm going to come down and click on the about us page, and then click on use this template. Give Divi a moment to load that new layout. And as you can see, I now have an about us page. Again, what I wanna do is navigate through the sections, rows and modules and make those customizations. Now you can also navigate down and you can create a completely new section by clicking here, then come down and choose a new section. You can either choose regular, specialty or full width, or if you've saved a section, you can go ahead and choose a section from the library. I'm gonna come down and click on regular. And then here we want to choose a row. I'm going to come down and choose this row here. Then what we wanna do is insert modules. Over here, I'm going to add a blurb. And here we can make changes to the blurb if we like. For now, I'm going to click tick. And then if I navigate over here, I can add another module. And for example, this could be a video. I'm going to click video. And then I would add the appropriate video in here. Again, with the section, I can navigate up to the gear icon, click on background, and I can add a background color. For example, I like the look of this. Again, I have these other options like I mentioned before. I'm going to click tick. And as you can see, I just added a new section. All I would do is add an image in here, change the text, the content in here, and add the video. Now what I'm gonna do is navigate up to the top, click on save draft, and then navigate back over to our WordPress backend. Then what we wanna do is locate Divi, and over here what we wanna do is upload a logo. Go ahead and upload your logo. I'm going to use this logo here and click on open, and then set as logo. Once you've made that change, go ahead and click on save changes. And now let's preview what that looks like on our website. As you can see, we have the logo here, but it looks quite small. So what we can do is navigate back over to our dashboard and then come down to appearances and then click on customize. And this is where you can make global changes to your website. I'm going to click on header and navigation and then primary menu. And then for logo max height, I'm going to drag this out and I'm happy with that sizing. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on publish. Now close this and then come down to appearance and click on menus. Give your menu a name, then come down and click on primary menu and then create menu. 
Then click on the published pages that you've just created and click on add to menu. At the moment, we only have a home and about page. You can add more later on once you've created those pages. Then come down and click on save menu. Then what we need to do is navigate over to settings and then come down and click on reading. Then navigate up to your homepage displays, a static page, and then come down to home page and click on home. And then all you need to do is click on save changes and then navigate back over to your website. And as you can see, just like that on our website, we have our primary menu. We have two items in our menu about and the home page. And you can add other pages just like I've showed you in this tutorial. If you're interested in diving deeper into the Divi theme and Divi page builder and leveraging more advanced features, then what I'll do is add the appropriate video tutorials down below in the description for you to check out. As you can see, Divi makes it incredibly easy to create and customize your WordPress website. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Divi theme and Divi page builder tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.